Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Indy and today, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna be doing this makeup tutorial, which I am super, super in love with. I've never done anything like this before. I really think this look would look so cute on anyone. If you guys do wanna try it out, make sure to keep on watching. Um, and also, unfortunately, at the end of this video, my camera died. So because of that, I'm going to be making a separate video of how I do my foundation so you guys get the full makeup look because that's missing. But I do hope that you guys enjoy at least watching how I do the eye look. And then um, I, yeah, <sighs> I'm so sorry. The struggles of being a YouTuber. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and like this video to show support. As you guys can tell, I am a new makeup artist in the YouTube world and it would mean so, 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 so much if you guys subscribe because I don't know, I just, I, I feel like there's just so many like makeup artists already on YouTube that it's gonna be hard to get up there. But with dedication and a lot of hard work, I feel like I can get your guys' heart to lean this way and love me a little bit, you know? Okay, I'm talking too much. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the video and um, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my eyebrows. As you guys can tell, I actually shaved the ends of it like a couple days ago and I completely regret this because I realized that I didn't have like a good brow gel to use. So I'm using this really crappy one and all the products that I use in this video will be linked down below. And then I went with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I put that on my lids and that's what I started with as my, pretty much as my base. And then I blended that out all the way up to my eyebrows and um, I just used a flat brush to blend this out. And then I just did the same thing to the other side. I went with another layer of the concealer just to make it a little bit wider, especially because I'm a little bit of a darker skin. So um, the lighter I go, the more the color is going to show when I use the eyeshadow. Um, that's the reason why I, you know, I want it white. I'm using the James Charles palette and I am going in with the pink color and I am putting that thing on my lids hard. So I'm literally pressing it in and I'm tapping it to get the most product in there. I got it all over my lid, especially because I have hooded eyes. I have to go a little bit higher, um, which usually you'd have a lot of space between like your lids and your eyebrows. But unfortunately, I don't, I'm not blessed with, you know, with beautiful eyelids. So <laughs> we got to work with what we got. But pretty much I, you know, I packed that eyeshadow onto my lids and yeah. And then I just made sure to blend it out. Usually I'd go in with a clean brush and blend it out, but I'm a little lazy, so I use the same brush just to kind of like make sure that everything was even um, and not like, you know, some areas were a little bit more like dense than others. And then I went with this thin Morphe brush and I added in a second color, which is a little bit darker than the initial color that I used. It was, it's like a purpley color. Um, it's in the same palette. It's just like a darker pink fuchsia color and I added that to the outer corner of my lid and the inner corner and then I connected it on the crease. And then I went in with another Morphe brush that's clean and doesn't have any pigment on it and I blended everything out. And then I went in with the Hit the Lights palette and I went in with this nice like kind of wine reddish color and I added that also to the outer corner of my lids. And also just so you guys know, the camera isn't really pulling in the colors, but you'll see it afterwards. Right now everything looks the same for some reason, <laughs> but um, I swear you can literally like, there's, there's different colors in there, I promise. Um, alrighty, so then I go in again with the Shape Tape Concealer and I put that into the middle of my lid. Again, like I said, I have hooded lids, so it's very difficult to do any type of crease um, like creased makeup or anything. So I go a little bit higher than usual so that when I look up, you can still see it. So pretty much I did that on both sides right in the middle. Um, I go a little bit bigger than usual because then that way I can blend in on the sides a lot easier than having like a very small area to work with because you can always pack in color on top of it than, you know, not having enough space. 
so I went a little bit bigger than usual and then I went in with this really pretty gold metallic color um, and I packed that on top And then as you can see, then I go in with the brush that I used initially and I start to blend that out into my lid pretty much. Um, and then just don't go too crazy with it. Like try and like keep it very, very close to where, you know, the concealer ends. That way you don't like make the um, the cut crease disappear. Um, but again, it's, it's a little difficult, but you know, once you get the hang of it, you start blending it, just take your time. Um, you'll, you'll start seeing a result. And then again, I just, you know, went in with a clean brush and I blended everything together so it all looks beautiful and perfect. Um, and yeah, eventually at some point, some century later, you will have a nice blended eyelid, I promise. Um, alrighty, then I went in when, with my e.l.f. Um, liquid eyeliner and I went ahead and lined my lash line. Um, I didn't do anything crazy, not too thick. Um, and I also didn't wing it. I'm gonna let, you know, the lashes do the job. So I just went in with the top lid. And then eventually afterwards, once I put the lashes on and I do everything else, I'm going to add in a also like, um, like a wing in the inner corner of my lids. So it looks like more like doughy, I guess. Um, so pretty much I went in with my primer and I use the, um, what is it? I think like Benefit like Peach um, foundation and it's all linked below. Um, but pretty much I use that and then this is where my camera died. So I'll do the talking in the next clip. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to get like the final touches of the look. But as you guys can tell, I pretty much just added eyeliner to the inner corner afterwards. And I finished off with putting eyeshadow in the bottom lashes and just finishing off with mascara to make it darker. Um, but yeah, that was literally about it. I added my foundation, added some highlighter and lip color and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm so sorry, you guys. I really wish I would have filmed that and like it would be so hard to like start from there again like to take all this off um without ruining the eye color one thing that i think would look so good with this look by the way is contacts but you don't have to obviously but i wore these gray contacts and it looks so good so if you want to take pictures definitely wear some contacts because you're gonna look bomb af and your pictures are gonna look so good um but anyways that's gonna be it for this video and i will see you guys next time bye guys